we've just, we passed the three year anniversary of Kill Connor Club. We did. So the last, I mean, last we talked about last episode being the three year anniversary, which it was technically, I guess, but the three year anniversary was like a week later. So there was like in between the two podcasts. Mm. So like last week and this week. Oh, last episode and this episode are kind of both three-year yeah. anniversaries in a way. Yeah, they both it was, made it. It's weird because it was technically it was just Wednesday. It was just last Wednesday. It was the three anniversary, yeah. which is a bit weird. Uh, um, yeah. But whatever. Bit... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I, but at the same time, fucking crazy to think about. It, it feels like forever, though. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been just three years. It feels like it's been, like, ten sure i guess i mean i oh god i don't even have a I, I can't even tell time not like on a clock i mean like you know i can't even <laughs> I tell how much time's time passed I, I just can't i don't even know what time is i just can't like i don't know i don't have a good concept of time like everything just kind of feels like it's all happening i don't know like unity like the unity hype i mean that just that feels like it was fucking ages ago but at the same time it doesn't so I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just I just can't remember not doing Kill Connor Club. Like I just can't remember there was a world where we just weren't doing this. That's true. That's weird. I can't remember the times when back in 2015, which was only two years ago, we didn't even have a proper schedule. Like we just kind of <sighs> whenever we was like, because no, I remember don't say I was that. on. Don't say that. That's ludicrous. <laughs> I That's was on. I was on Time Hop the other day, and I made a tweet. Um, it was like a two-year-old tweet, and it just said. Oh, by the way, guys, let me know when you want the next episode of Kill Connor Club up. Shall I upload it now or, like, shall I wait a bit? And it's, like, it's so weird. I was just throwing it up whenever. So, true. Yeah. like, how long did I have that? I must have just had Kill Connor Club sitting there. And I, I remember weird. this. You know, I guess I can be honest about this now, right? Because at the time, there was Joe there as well. Okay. And And in my mind... You know, and people like the three of us. It was a cool dynamic. It was interesting. It was unique. But it was a lot harder to get us all together. And Joe missed a couple of the first, like, five or six that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, because we just jumped on just to, you know, do, you know, chat, talk shit. Ethan came in and on one of them at the end. And he became, like, a segment. <laughs> Ethan, like joins. Ethan joins. And he oh, wasn't even, like... a throwback. A, and he had, like, 300 subscribers at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good time. But the funny thing is, though, when we didn't have a schedule, then we were just kind of doing it whenever we <laughs> made the, like, art logo, did the t-shirts and shit. Yeah. Um, and I kept saying, come on, James, let's do the podcast, let's do the podcast. Joe isn't even around or doing anything. In my head, I'm like, I just thought, I'm like, we don't need Joe. This is honestly, if I were to be real with you, like, this podcast is came together, this schedule, what is today, because I pressured James into abandoning That's Joe. True. Essentially. I was just like, dude, we don't need him. I didn't say that. I was very nice about it. Mm. But I, I think that, I, well, I mean, the main way it worked, I think, was that we organized with Joe a couple times for him to come on. And it got to the point where we were going to record and Joe wasn't there. So you were just like, well, let's just do it without him. And then we just yeah. did it without him a couple of times. And it was just kind of like, okay, but we'd also, well. But, but we'd also done, like, Stick of Dynamite. And I was mm. like, dude, like, all I was thinking, I'm like, there's something. It doesn't that even. That was a good jump. podcast. <laughs> that was yeah. fucking good. We, we for sure, because those are like our getting to know you podcast. This is like, they were like our first date podcast. Oh, that was um, good. And I, I'm just like, dude, we don't need him. i like, I like Joe. I like him a lot. We 100% don't need him. And he's not even around. And I don't think he cares. Let's just make yeah, it a thing. Care. And it's just us. And then we did this again. Let's do it every two weeks. And then we just kind of stopped inviting him. Like we'd ask him if he wanted to come. Other would reply, I wouldn't, but then we just kind of stopped asking him. But you'd go, Oh, should we ask him? And I, I would go, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was uh, actually when I think back to it, it's weird that it just happened and felt normal um, that we just abandoned Joe, sort of. Because, like, we did, I did always like, ask him if he wanted to be on and stuff. Like, he always, I always felt like he was the, a member of the podcast, and, like, he should be on it, but, like, if he wasn't on it, then we could just do it without him. But, like, it was weird because when it got to the next year and we re- redid the art and the art was just me and you, it was just kind of like, okay, well, Joe's just gone now. Like, I don't think there, there was never a defining moment when we were like, okay, I think it's time we drop Joe. It just sort of happened. There was, there was never even a conversation. We never once said to Joe, <laughs> you know, the podcast, anymore. never once. We just stopped asking him to come on. <laughs> oh, like, there was yeah. zero discussion. And, like... He'll always be, like, one of the founders of Kill Connor Club. He'll always be one of the three founders of Kill Connor Club. But Kill Connor Club is you and me. You know what I mean? Mm. He was on four podcasts. We've done you and me together. Probably done a hundred podcasts. 
Jesus, that's a lot of podcasts. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, cool story, bro. You're on four of them. Like, where you know, you and I kill Connor Goff, and most people don't even know who Joe is that listen to it. I know you that's know? crazy to think about. Actually, that people don't even know who he is, but some people still bring up that Q and A. The Q and A is not out yet. It's quite yeah. upsetting. One day, maybe one. one day, maybe one day he'll just do it when he's like 30 years old and he's like, oh, I remember that. He'll just throw like, up a quick Q and A <laughs> answers video. That, That'd be hilarious. You know, you know, Joe, um, you know, he's not my best friend, but I think I know well enough to know that he'll never do that. Like, that's just oh, not I'd, even the type I'd of person I'd pay he is. him to do that. Remember when we found him on Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> and we, we saw photos of it, and I'm like, I did not expect him to look like that. I, yeah, I've, he's my friend on Facebook, and he shares really random things. Like, he'll, he'll share, like, um, like, you know those weird, like, internet facts that have, like, no proof behind them? And it would just be, like, an image and, like, a bit of text underneath it with something, like, crazy. And you're like, oh, that's a cool fact, but, like, it has nothing backing up. He just shares a lot of those. And I'm like, but that, uh, they're probably not even true. Yeah. But it's a good, so it's a good little look into Joe's life, I think. Just to know he's doing all right. Just to know he's alive? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you know, do you know who is is Doctor Ordle around in the community oh, ever? Or is God, he gone? No, he's been gone for like good, well over a year, I think. He shows up. You know when he does show up to the twenty four hour streams, he's never missed a twenty four hour live stream at Christmas. But other than that, he's not around. And I guarantee, when we do another one this year, he'll show up. He'll just show up and he'll be like, "Hey guys," and then he'll just disappear again. It's the same with people like Wotu and um, like that random name though, Craig. Um, people like that. There's a few people that kind of show up at special occasions, but like never again. I don't know where they are, but you know, it's just it's just because they kind of grew up and are like, yeah, I have better things to do with my life than yeah, watch yeah. these they, dickheads yeah, play video that's, games. That's true. I think they just get busy with things and you know, with real life, they like. Is they're like, fine. oh, I love those guys. I'll always have fun memories of them, but like, I don't have time for this. Yeah, it's like obviously some people are always going to be part of the community, whether that's a big part of the community or whether that's a smaller part of the community or whether you know they leave entirely, you know. Um, it's whatever. It's cool, but I still love all those people. Oh yeah, that's it's interesting to think about how many people we've kind of like talked to and met over the years and mm. and had conversations with, or I don't know, just kind of like yeah, it's bizarre. The ups and the downs of the last three years have been crazy. The um, Udi period, oh, the like, <laughs> oh, it's that just... was a huge fucking slot like just i was like like it happened once then it happened again then it happened to asim and he was like i'm gonna fucking take legal action i'm like oh god jesus christ asim calm down and then oh god everything it was i don't know what happened there and then he emailed me recently the other day like a big long email i just ignored the whole thing so i'm like i don't want i don't want anything to do with this i can't really like the other day what okay so when i say the other day um everyone anyone that knows me knows that i don't use that phrase entirely correctly um I mean, you don't like, use many phrases entirely correctly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good joke. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah. Cut deep. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, well, basically, what I mean is, it was a, it was a few weeks ago. It, it was relatively recent in terms of how long we've known Udi for. Like, I don't mean like it was seven months ago. I mean it was it was at least a month ago. He sent me an email, like a big long email to my business email god what the fuck would it say what did it say i don't remember all i remember it was from udi i think i skim read it and then i was like not replying and i just deleted it because i just couldn't be bothered he caused me too was much he, is he... trouble i just don't understand like why he wants to be a part of the community still like still he doesn't have friends i don't know <laughs> just doesn't make sense to me just i mean i do understand it does make sense that he doesn't have friends because i get that i know him well enough to know <laughs> And then I'm like, yeah, yeah cool, bro. <laughs> you didn't even hate him, and then he made you hate him because he like apologized for something you hadn't done, and then you said something. And he was like, I don't think that merits a response. Like I replied <laughs> to him, telling him, oh, it's all good, man. I got no issues with you. You know, blah blah blah. Like yeah. real, like heartfelt message response back. So I, honestly, I didn't even know who you were. Like I didn't know there was any issue here. But no, it's all good, man. And then he just didn't reply. And that was it. And then he's just like, oh. I don't think this. Mer- I don't think that merited a reply. I'm like, oh, I hate you. Like, I now hate <laughs> Such you. Such like, a cunt. <laughs> like, who? Like, what? God damn it, Udi. I couldn't believe it. I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I now, I now hate you. Oh man. Classic what? Udi. What's your? 
like, can we go? Because it's the th- it's three years. I want to do I want to do some things. Like I like okay. this. This reminiscing. This reminiscing is nice. What all are right. your top? We we're talking about top fives on uh, Clubhouse. We're talking about Ethan and all his top five videos on Clubhouse <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, shout out, we did a bonus Kill Connor Clubhouse as well this week. So it's already up, just came out on patreon.com slash as always. Mm, so we've got a whole new podcast. Who talked about our, his his cosplaying experiences relating to girls, and it's really interesting. Yeah, all I'll I'd say is for sure, it. don't dress up and talk to girls. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Wonderful. Um, Okay. But <clears throat> top five favorite Kill Connor clubs. Top five Kill Connor clubs. Ooh. Okay. I think I've got to include. Ooh. Um. I think that I think the first one we do with Asim, I think, would need to be included in there somewhere because that's a yeah. I agree. That what that I'll never forget that. I remember. I'll never forget the moment he said. You know, it's a classic, like, if you microwave it, the semen will taste like milk. Like, I remember <laughs> falling off of my chair laughing in that my old apartment. That was so funny. I remember being sitting in my desk in my old apartment, falling off my fucking chair, laughing so hard. Because I couldn't believe it. I'm like, who the f- I didn't know who he was until that podcast. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And I was just dying. It's so it was funny. So fun. It's so funny. That was such a good podcast. The dumb shit we talked about. That stupid rap battle that wasn't even a rap battle. Oh, it was a great podcast. Oh, yeah. This doesn't have to be in any particular order of top five. It's just the top five. Yeah, just a few. Yeah, just five. Five memorable ones. We've got, I think, I think the first one we ever did with Luma would be on there because that was a big moment. Uh, I think I think to me it's memorable because it's like, not necessarily because of any form of banter, just because it was like, I mean, I think, okay, maybe I'd link that also with the with the interview we did with Victoria just because they were big podcasts. Like, I'm um, like, Talking to the voice act, a voice actor that was in Assassin's Creed, and then there was the one with Luma. I think sure. they're both big, big podcasts for me, anyways. So that's, so that's three. Yep. So that's three. All right, and then um, <clears throat> episode. Oh fuck. Um, I guess. Oh, there's so fucking many. I. There's so many. I like the one we did um, recently. I don't remember which episode. Episode forty nine uh, with Nick and Brett was a good one yep yep i think i'd have to do that and maybe like Uh, episode 50 or episode 40 whenever we have the four pillars four pillars yeah Yeah. so it's five you've just said five five. shit okay it's tough eh like there's episode zero too oh and there's episode three the one we did that was the justin bieber story that was the first proper one just me and you yeah that's true Oh, well, wow. so 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 Joe lasted two episodes, and if you count <laughs> episode zero, he lasted three, and then mm. he came back for the t-shirt launch, and then never saw him again. And then he was a guest. <laughs> he was a guest. So he, was on, he was on four official episodes, and then also on episode zero. Cool oh, story, God. bro. Great stuff, bro. Um, yeah, what are yeah there's five? a lot of good episodes. I also have to put the first episode eleven with Asim on there. I have mm. to put that put that mm. on there. Um, that's one of my favorites. I'll never forget that. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go with. I loved honestly the Victoria Atkin and the Loom ones were great, but I wouldn't put them in my top five. I, episode twenty with Gabe, I thought was really fun. I thought that went awesome. So I'll put that on there as well. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry, bro. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Um, episode, even though it was a shit show, episode 29, the two-year anniversary, where we just had everybody on for different segments, oh, I actually thought, like, was, yeah. it was so much work, sure, but it turned out so awesome. That was like, really good. Out. I need to re-listen the, to that. I think that was a really good podcast. It, I just loved how we did it. Like, I never want to mm. do it again, but, yeah. like, it was great. It was a great one-off moment where we just had like half an hour with different guests talking about different topics. Yeah. I loved that podcast. Um, mm-hmm. That's up there. So that's three. Mm-hmm. I'd then put – I'd put episode 40 with Four Pillars and then I'd probably, yeah, would agree episode 49 to have like um, – Nick and, and Brett on because like when it comes to like our favorite guests like we've kind of got like five best friends of the podcast with being like George, Ethan, Nick, Brett and Asim you know what I mean mm. like five people that are always welcome on the podcast whenever they want yeah 
That's true. And I mean, up, I mean, up there as well as like an honorable mention, I think episode 54, the last one we did, was one of my favorites actually to record. I really enjoyed it. Oh, yes. That's actually... Mm, fuck. That's a, that's a legit point, sir. That might actually be up there in the top five there. I don't know. Like, that was a that's really good... Like, no, it wasn't like tons of like laughs and stuff, but there were, there, obviously there were a few. It was a good time, but like there was so such good discussions, I think, in that. It was a really good podcast, actually. That's actually true. That's one of my favorites, i got to say. I actually do want to shout out Luma again and Nick for the last episode. I thought that was really productive discussion.